Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Amazon Fire TV remote that's not connecting to the Fire Stick by resetting it, then possibly using the phone app. I'm just going to go through every step. So the first thing is we want to go ahead and turn off our Amazon Fire Stick. I'm going to unplug it from the wall outlet, and this signal is going to appear on my screen. It probably won't be like this on yours. It's just going to be black. Now we want to go to the Fire Stick remote and we're going to reset this. We're going to reset it by pressing the back button, the menu button, and the left button. So let's hold all three of these down for 12 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and finally 12. So I just went ahead and reset it. Now, I want to go ahead and remove the batteries from the remote, and I'm going to place this, place this to the side with the batteries out. Then I'm going to go ahead and go down and reconnect my fire stick so it starts booting up. So I have to plug this back into the power source, whether it's to the wall outlet or to the back of the TV, or maybe it's literally the TV itself if you got one of the fire TVs. So let's focus in on that. So while that's booting, I'm going to go back to my remote. And sometimes these batteries get drained really, really quick with these remotes because there's some sort of glitch where, um, I don't know, they just stay activated and they drain through the batteries really, really quick. So you might need new batteries in your remote. So just a heads up, that is an issue. I wonder if they got it fixed with an update. But place the batteries back into the Fire Stick remote. And we're waiting for this to boot up. Now, most of the times when I try to reconnect it, it's simply not going to work. But after like three to five minutes, your screen is going to pop up when your Fire Stick uh, recognizes you don't have a remote connected. And it's going to say, you don't have a remote connected. This is how you connect it. And that's usually when it works. But now with everything reinserted here, I'm going to hold down the home button. So the home button here, 10 seconds. And a little light is going to begin to blink in the upper right now. And we're just going to let this continue on to blink. So I can let go. And this is going to try to pair and reconnect to my fire stick. Make sure this is in line of sight and it's close by your fire stick. And if you got a fire TV or another Amazon fire stick, you might want to go ahead and unplug those from the wall outlet. Otherwise, this remote is going to try to connect to that device. So you just want one device that is trying to connect to. And it looks like it's not connected in any capacity still yet. So I'm just going to hold down the home button a little bit longer. And just see if I can get it to be back in the Bluetooth pairing mode. And nothing is happening still. And like I said, it usually takes until this screen. It says, Placing the remote closer to the Amazon Fire Stick. Okay, I'm going to put it like really, literally right next to it within a foot. Now I'm going to hold down the home button for 10 seconds. And it says restart new alkaline batteries into the remote. Unplug your Fire TV, wait 5 seconds, then plug it back in. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it now. This is usually when it works. Boom. See, just like that. And my remote is now working. I don't know why I have to wait until that specific screen, but that's what I've found. Um, if I try to reconnect it before that, it won't work. Now, if it's really being stubborn, what you want to do is go to your phone and get the phone app. So let me try to focus in on here. Go to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. I just opened up Google. But get this application. This is the Amazon Fire TV application. And make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi. If you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, it will automatically detect your Fire Stick. And then you can use this as a remote and you can move around the screen. And we're gonna use this to go to the Bluetooth and controller options. So we wanna go all the way to the right and then go on down and go to controllers and Bluetooth and go to add Amazon Fire Stick TV remote Boom, right here. Now you're gonna need this to select the remote when it's under here, but hold down the home button on your remote and then select it when it appears on this list and it should reconnect. 
Now, sometimes you still have to go to the screen, even when your remote is connected, if you have a Fire TV, because you'll try to use the Alexa button, and the Alexa button won't work. So that's because your remote's not actually connected completely yet. You're able to like move around the screen, but if you have a Fire TV for some reason, it's not completely connected. With the Fire Stick, I noticed, you know, I am usually good to go once I reconnect it. But just a heads up, if you know it's not out working, come back to the section and actually add the remote. And that should work. But hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.